Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Anchor Prime 200 watts charger. This is having 6 USB ports in form of 4 USB Type-C and 2 USB Type-A, uh, old type uh, USB. This oh, uses of course uh, helium nitride uh, switching uh, conductors, so it's highly efficient. And let's take it out of the box, so this thing is packed with some tape here okay i must say that this thing weighs a ton i hope that it's just the cardboard that heavy it's promising but not that promising so there's definitely something very very yes this is super heavy my god this is extremely heavy i think it's made from one single chunk of metal it feels that way it's kind of yep it's a combination of it has here a plastic cap but i think that it does have some metal plate to dissipate heat you get here the voltages uh, i think that they are this way you can pause the video if you want to, it says the combination, but I'm going to include a link somewhere with the specifications for it. The design is pretty nice, simple, minimalistic, I might say, but this is, damn, this is heavy. And in the box, what do we get? We get almost nothing. We get here a manual, Quick start guide, yes, you plug it in. And it works something like that and it shows us how to plug things so this can supply up to i think the most powerful port supplies 100 watts something like that so you can power everything a notebook a rogalai console a steam deck everything should work and i'm curious to see uh, if it does fast charging also on mobile smartphones and here should be the mains cable there we go European plug and this goes in like that so let's power this on and put it to some tests to see how it runs so I have plugged this in I must say that I like the power cord because although uh, kind of thick it's very very flexible very soft and i like that it's not hard um, there's no apparent thing here that it shows this thing running there's no led no light nothing at all no display no no nonsense but it doesn't even have the green led to show that it's working so it looks like that but it's powered up so for the start i'm going to use this power bank as a uh, load for it this can charge with maximum 45 watts and i'm going to use a usb tester here and i'm going to plug randomly here and connect the power bank and it has started to work there's the cable a lot of cable here so you can see it's the same cable it's not another cable but it's two meter long because it's the single one i had lying around and we can check here the power so it's doing already 15 volts 2 point almost 7 amps and i can quickly do something like that so look at that power is going that way and it's doing 40 watts of power constantly so uh, almost shy of 5 watts so 45 watts with 40 watts charging let's check on the other ports let's see the first one 40 directly this negotiates the speed very fast i really like that all right the third one again 40 i know that i seen somewhere that you can combine these for output and when you do that when you use all of them one is something like 40 one is 100 one is 20 and so on but i don't remember the order but right now each one is outputting 40 watts it's the maximum that this thing can take right uh let's move on so i have here a notebook thing pad that 
is dead out of battery no longer started because I haven't used it in a long time and forgot to charge it and I'm going to connect I have here another cable this is also with a built-in tester there USB type C doesn't turn on like that but when you power this on it should turn on let's see oh, the power is here and ah uh, this is the one that flickers on the camera and you are not going to see anything so I'm going to use the other tester because you don't see it on the camera so again I'm going to use the very long 2 meter cable and Put the tester in and let's see what it's doing so it's doing less than one watt so it's putting 20 volts but a very very small current two watts probably the battery is so dead that this is now kick starting up so let's power it on and it has started now so it's turning on there we go and it's booting up and the power draw should be higher now and 40 44 watts of power it's varying but this is now charging and it was indeed completely dead so it's working and charging no problem and now let's put it to some more load so I'm going to put the power back on and this time I'm going to use the flickering cable so I'm going to put this next to it and I'm going to connect also this and I'm going to translate you what's happening here so it's 38 39 watts of power right now I think I can do something let me do something like there you go so you can see the power now clearly 38 watts of power and this one is still working it's still powered on and using how oh many watts of power this thing is still pulling this thing varies a lot so I don't know what it's doing look at that 60 now 60 watts of power and I'm still doing here 38 so in total now I have 60 with 40 100 watts of power no problem there so I'm just going to let those run I'm going to reset the camera so now you can see something and let's also put another cable and now I have another power bank here a power bank that also knows to measure the power so I'm going to connect another cable I, I'm going to use a normal one now a, a plug so connect it there so this is still charging with 39 right now this is also using now 50 52 62 55 62 varies so around 60 with 40 and I'm going to plug this sadly this is also already 90% full so it's not going to pull too much but let's check it out so 5 volts already jumped to 10 volts and the amp already 2.2 amps so there you go this is also fast charging right now so that's about 20 watts of power 22 watts of power 22 here this is still doing 39 right now in this one 62 so this thing still charges this charges this one charges and probably this should charge faster let's see if I can find another USB type C cable so managed to find another one and I'm going to plug another one here another type C and again the power bank and now the power bank will charge with let's see 20 volts already and 1.3 amps so a bit more higher than before but this is all almost full so it's not going to pull much more than that this one it's still doing 40 right now and this one it's at 62 so we have 62 with 
40 and another 20 all from the same part here and I'm going also to do a test with a mobile phone I'm going to connect that as well and it's normal charging quick charge so now it's fast charging so the phone is fast charging and the other ones are charging faster look at that this one already has went up 2 amps with 20 volts that means actually 40 what so 40 with 40 with 60 and the phone is also quickly charging but it's not telling me how fast and I don't have a tester and now the most complicated test so this is still charging with 40 this is still doing about 60 I have uh, pulled the power bank out the other one because it almost uh, was full and I have plugged in the tester again and here is the Rogalai this thing is now running Last of Us and uh, this guy wants to shoot me uh, all right I'm not going to play right now but uh, you can see it's using max power here manual mode and this thing is very picky because when you put a charger inside it always gives you an error because it really needs 60 watts of power and now it's pulling just 43 because it still has 83% battery so it's doing pretty good and it's not needing that all those uh, 65 watts but uh, the idea with the charger and why is this picky is because that um, if you don't put a proper cable and a proper charger this is going to throw out here an error that it says that it doesn't have sufficient uh, charging speed which doesn't happen in this case so pr practically this can take up to 60 watts if it needs to and uh, doesn't have an issue with that and I'm out of ammo right I'm not going to play right now but I just wanted to have some load onto this charger so you can actually see it doing something so it also works with the Rogalai no problem Rogalai no boot and power bank this one actually increased to 42 watts of power because probably yes it's at 70% or something there it charges the fastest 42 so it's getting close to the 45 maximum 60 and another up to this one was 45 something like that but it can go up to 60 when uh, it needs to so as you can see this charger does the job pretty nice although very heavy and it has warmed up so indeed this also acts as a heat sink on this part here it's more warmer than on the rest but the whole case here it's warm not hot but pretty warm and because I was telling you it's heavy 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 let's see what heavy means so I'm going to unplug all those out even also this I'm going to put this to zero all right and this thing weighs more than half of a kilogram which is insane for a charger in contrast this power bank here has four 133 uh, this is uh, using uh, uh, 2000 milliamp capacity cells so this thing is huge so uh, imagine that the Rogalai has 749 grams so this thing yes it replaces a lot of chargers but brings its own weight with it oh there you go i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, video uh, and if you have any kind of questions about this i'm going to try to answer you as best and as fast as possible just leave them in the comments below until my next video see you and bye bye